So I have great news to share with you guys. Apple has officially released iOS 15.2 RC release candidate for registered developers as well as public beta testers, which could indicate that this software could be releasing before the holiday break, and that's going to be a home run. I was expecting this software to release mid to late January, but it looks like Apple is going to be pushing this software sooner rather than later, which is awesome. This software brings great improvements, new features, and even hardware improvements, and we'll talk about those in just a few seconds. As always, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Now, as per usual, Apple has released iOS 15.2 RC, but they've also updated all their other platforms. So Mac OS 12.1 RC was released today as well. So for the Mac, you can now update to that. As I mentioned, iOS 15.2 RC today released. Of course, iPad OS 15.2 RC has been released as well. No universal control on this one yet. Hopefully that feature will be coming in the future with Mac OS as well. Unfortunately, we also have, of course, Watch OS 8.3 RC was released today as well. But something rather interesting, I haven't seen a tvOS RC just yet. So tvOS remains on 15.2 beta 4 now we're going to give you a quick recap or i will be giving you a quick recap of some of the latest features that made it into the official final release or the rc release candidate which is pretty much the official final release here in just a few days we'll also talk about expected release dates but this one came in at approximately five to six gigabytes of a download as i always say guys this will not be removing five to six gigs from your iphone this is simply overriding the entire os to install the latest software we get a brief description description of some of the latest features which we'll cover here in just a few seconds if you head on over into general and about the latest bill number for this software right here it is 19c56 so ios 15.2 is all ready to go let's talk about some of the features that made it into the official final release or this one the rc which is pretty much the final release we get some important uh, communication safety for the iMessage platform this one's going to be super important for parents if you have a child under your Apple ID, you can head on over into their settings here and you can go into the screen times on your iPhone here and then manage a minor right here. You now have communication safety and you can enable this feature right here and you get more information here coming soon. Apple has yet to load this website here just yet. But you can get more resources there. Right there it is, child safety for sensitive photos being sent through the iMessage system. Big one for parents and also minors as well that use iPhones. I think this one is a great idea. Apple improving security and taking measures within the safety and communications within the iMessage platform, which is obviously a great thing. Now, we also have improvements to notification summary. This is a super nice looking notification summary. I really like it a lot. If you use notification summary, iOS 15.2 will bring an improvement to that UI as well. Now, one of the biggest features, in my opinion, is the app privacy report. This one made it into the RC or the final release here. This one lies within your privacy section under settings here. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, we have the app privacy report. And right here, you can see all your applications, what sensors of your iPhone they're getting access to, data, information, the microphone, the cameras, the speakers, at what time of the day, also websites, what's happening in the background. Very, very detailed report that you can get from your app privacy report. One of the biggest features coming to iOS 15.2. You're going to love this one as well. Now, Apple also updated Emergency SOS. So if you click the side button five times, you probably notice that your iPhone starts counting down from five. Well, now it's starts counting down from eight just in case you accidentally initiated an emergency call you have more time to cancel that call however if you cancel the emergency call you also have a notification telling you that you can re-enable it by going into the settings or clicking the side button five times to reinitiate that call if you accidentally accidentally stop the call which is pretty cool actually so apple is being very very clear on this one another great feature coming to ios 15.2 and this one was delayed but looks like it's making it to the final cut that is digital legacy passing down your digital legacy so all your iCloud information except keychain will be passed down to a person of trust you can send a key to someone that you trust so if you pass away they can have access to your data so passing down your digital legacy is now available within iOS 15.2 RC and you can send that key to someone so they can do whatever it is that you wish with your data after you're no longer here uh, there's improvements to the uh, Apple TV 
application. There's actually a new store tab available. You can now purchase and rent directly within this tab here. A lot easier to do through the Apple TV application. There's also improvements to the camera. There's a new button UI right here for micro photography, which is a very, very welcome addition here in case you didn't intend to shoot a micro. You can actually disable that within this toggle once you get close to a subject. So let me show you here in this camera right here. Right there it is. Let's say I want to take a picture of this iPhone here. You'll see that the button appears right there. You can see I can toggle it on and off if I wish to do so. Switch lens. Pretty cool feature coming with iOS 15.2. So stay tuned for that. That should make it into the official final release here as well. Now there's also improvements to Apple Music as well. So you can now search within a playlist. So if you head on over into your Apple Music here and you go into a playlist, yes, I know this sounds like very simple, but Apple did not allow you to search through playlists. You can now do that directly within the playlist in Apple Music. And Apple has added a new Apple Music plan as well. So now you have the ability to purchase for $4.99 a month a Siri voice plan for Apple Music. This will allow you to to have Apple Music on your HomePod. If you're not using an iPhone or iPad or a Mac, but you still have a HomePod, let's say businesses can probably take advantage of this. You can purchase Apple Music and just use Siri to listen to music on your HomePod without having to subscribe to anything else Apple. So pretty welcome addition here for Apple Music as well. And if we head on over into the cell data options, there's also improvements here as well. Again, Apple went big with privacy this time around. We have right there limit IP address tracking. So this will limit uh, tracking from known trackers within Safari and Mail within Apple's application for iOS. You can enable this feature. It is enabled by default, so I wouldn't recommend you turn that off. But again, Apple going big with privacy with iOS 15.2. Now, there's big changes for the iPhone within the hardware as well. 15.2 improves two major aspects of the hardware as well. So now, if you have a non-genuine battery or part within your iPhone, the battery health categories will tell you that. So unknown part will now be detected by the hardware using software, which is obviously a welcome addition to iOS 15.2. And to me, one of the biggest changes coming to the platform with iOS 15.2 for iPhone 13 owners is the ability to now replace the display of your iPhone 13 without Face ID breaking. Now, if you didn't know, when Apple launched iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, you couldn't replace the display unless you took it to Apple or a certified Apple service repair shop because Face ID would break. Well, 15 15.2 aims to fix this particular issue. Of course, I'll be testing this out. I'm going to swap out this iPhone 13 Pro Max display to test this. Hopefully, it doesn't break Face ID. Uh, I've seen other sources report on this particular situation, and it looks like Apple has fixed it with 15.2, even going as far as now starting next year with a new self-repair program as well. So if you didn't catch that, I'll link that in the description down below. But iOS 15.2, this has been a quick recap. RC has been released today. When can we expect an official release? Well, it is December the 7th. If history is any indication and history repeats itself, iOS 15.2 may be released to everyone to download as early as Monday, December the 13th next week. At the latest, I would say the 15th, but I think on Monday the 13th of December 2021, Apple should release iOS 15.2 to the general public alongside watchOS, tvOS, iPadOS, and macOS. By the way, the HomePod software has also been updated as well. 15.2 HomePod OS RC has been released for the Apple Music stuff with the Siri voice plan. And that's pretty much it iOS 15.2. Stay tuned for my follow-up video. I'll talk about some of the bugs, some of the issues with the software before the official release. Let's see what Apple has fixed. Obviously, I haven't had enough time to test some of the bugs within the software. So stay tuned. In the next couple of days, I'll report back on the battery, the performance, any bugs, any issues, or any bug fixes as well with 15.2. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.